Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you real quick how to record gameplay within Unreal Engine. And we're going to be using the third person template. So what we're going to do, this will go really fast, is I just go into third person and we'll go create. Whoops. Will it take me into the open world? Let me see. That wasn't what I wanted to do. <laughs> so let me go new project. I wanted to actually just go to the blank world here. Sorry about that off to a bad start. So I didn't know how easy this was to do. I thought that it was more complicated than this. Okay, so here's our open world. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to, make sure we're content browser, add, add features, third person, add to project. Let's take a minute here. And then we're gonna go to our third person blueprint here. And what we're gonna do, I did a tutorial on this. I'm just gonna, this is going to be that hyper speed character. So we're just going to jump up their speed abilities here. So it's more entertaining to watch. And we'll compile and save. We can close this and go to world settings, set the game mode to BP third person. And then we should be good to go. I'd like to record them falling initially. So all we have to do now is just go to the take recorder and we need a source. And if you'll notice, there is no person because they're kind of spawned into the game. So there's nothing here. So we can choose just player as our source. And then what's cool about this is it's gonna, I'm gonna hit play and then I'm gonna go record and it gives us a countdown. And now it's recording and here I go so here we go I'm just gonna do some quick cool jumps <laughs> you know she's just on her way to get a chai latte so she's in a little bit of a rush so look how fast she went about three miles okay <laughs> and we're going to call it stops right there so I'll hit escape and now it pops us into the sequencer, but interestingly, there's nothing here. So one thing I've learned is that the take recorder is really ideal for recording in game. The sequencer doesn't seem to be so much. So anyway, if we come over to content browser and we go to cinematics, we click here, double click here. There's our take, I double click it. Now it comes into sequencer. All we have to do is hit that little icon there and we've got the whole thing recorded and then we simply can render it out. So that's what we got. And that's how easy it is to record in game. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I appreciate you subscribing.